Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Spin Blur tool in Photoshop. Okay, so the Spin Blur tool is actually a very cool filter that you can apply to your photos that makes a really, a really cool spin effect to your photos. And it has many, many uses, but one of the most popular uses it has is to uh, spin the wheels on a car like this. So let's say I have this photo right here and I want to make it look like the car is actually moving uh, instead of it just being a static shot. This gives a little bit more uh, interest to the photo, um, but I want to make it look like it's moving here. So we're going to add a spin blur effect to the wheels. So all I'm going to do is go to filter, blur gallery, and then spin blur. Okay, so now it gives me this little spin effect here and no matter where I put it on the photo, it's spinning, it's uh, doing a blur spin effect to wherever I place it. So uh, what you have here is this is the amount of spin that you can use this inner circle here. This is the, uh, the spin center. And then uh, around here is where you can move it and then you can actually constrain it like that. And so I'm gonna move it over this back t tire here and I'm gonna cover the whole tire. So I'm just going to expand it out a little bit, just like that. And now you can see it's spinning the wheel. It's spinning the rim of the wheel. It's actually spinning all of the whole area right here. And so I can give the angle here. I can spin it more. And you can see how it's spinning it even more there. And it's also uh, going to allow me to do it this way as well. I can spin it around. And we can do it just like that. So you can see it looks like the car is actually moving. Uh, it's spinning a little bit too much of the actual wheel, so I'm going to back that down a little bit. All right, and so let's go ahead and click OK up here. All right, there we go. And as you can see, it applied that effect there. It actually looks really, really well. And so uh, all I'm going to do is do the same exact thing to apply it to the other tire. So I'm going to go again up here. I'm going to go to uh, Filter, Blur Gallery, Spin Blur. And now I get another one here, and all I'm going to do is drag it over here to the uh, other tire, do the same thing. I'm going to constrain it a little bit just to get it to fit the wheel, just like that. It can most likely keep the same value, so they sort of spin a little bit. So I'm going to spin that one a little as well, just like that. All right, and I'm going to pop this one up a little bit more. It looks like it needs to go up just a little bit because it's touching too much of the ground. So right there. Now let's click OK. All right, and there we go. That is our tires spinning like it's actually driving. Uh, it was very quick and easy to do that. And just think of all the photos that you have. Uh, you might have of cars that are really kind of cool, like a car show maybe, and you want to actually look like they're, they're, they're driving down the road. And this is one quick and easy way to do that. It looks like the cars are uh, the car is actually moving. The whole rim is spinning. Even the brake rotor out here is actually spinning with it. So it looks like it's, uh, it's just moving pretty fast. So it's actually kind of cool to see that. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to do the spin blur effect in Photoshop. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.